Hey friend, and welcome to another supply video. We are, in this video, we are going to be talking all about my absolute favorite brushes in the entire world. I would marry them if I could. Sorry, John. <laughs> um, I know that's a big statement and it's kind of ridiculous and I am being somewhat sarcastic. But honestly, I've tried a lot of brushes out there and for what I do, for what I like to do, and for how I like it to feel in my hand. <laughs> oh. There's just nothing that beats the Princeton Heritage 4050 series. If you follow me on Instagram or anywhere else online, you'll see this red handle come up in a lot of my images. And it's because I literally use it every single day. Um, I basically, my go-tos for this series, because you know, if you're a newbie at watercolor or painting in general, and you <laughs> go to an art supply store and you're like, what brush should I buy? Um, there's so many options. And even within one brand or even one series, there's loads and loads of different shapes and sizes, and it can be incredibly daunting and overwhelming. And every art, bleep, and every artist is different. Some like wash brushes, some like round brushes, some like quill brushes, some like oval round brush. There's so many different options, and then the sizes as well. Um, so my three go-to sizes are the size 16 six and two, all of them are round brushes. Um, I only really use wash brushes, which are like this one. Um, if I'm doing a pattern like, like stripes or blocks or some sort of geometric pattern, I'll use a straight edge brush or a wash brush. Um, but for the most part, everything else I paint like from freaking landscapes to florals to architectural paintings, I will be using round brushes. The main reason why I love using round brushes is for their two-in-one quality. Um, within one brush, you get two different types of strokes. So you can use a horizontal hold with the brush, so it's kind of on its side like this, and you'll be able to use the entire belly or width of the brush, um, and you'll get a wide stroke. And then if you use a vertical hold, so it's mostly straight up and down or around this angle, Round brushes have come to a fine point, um, so you can get a thin stroke out of it as well. And then obviously with the smaller sizes, you get smaller sized wide so strokes and thin strokes. So I love using round brushes because you don't have to constantly be changing out your types of brushes. Um, and I just like being the fluidity of being able to go from a wide stroke to a thin stroke within one motion. Um, love these brushes. Along with that, it really is key if you like that style of painting of going from pressure and release and going from wide to thin stroke. It's really super, super key that you have a flexible and snappy brush that can do that for you. If you like those really crispy clean edges um, and you like going from thick to thin really smoothly, a really snappy and flexible round brush is going to be super important. And this Heritage 4050 series, that's kind of like the thing with this brush, is it's incredibly flexible and snappy. So I love it. It, it suits perfectly for the style of painting that I do. Um, I use these brushes and give them to all of my students for all of my workshops, and everyone raves about them. So I know it's not just me. Um, but along with that, they are synthetic sable hair. Um, so no harm done to animals, and I'm so on board with everything that Princeton does in terms of being more ethical and saving all the animal baby lives um, because it's a big deal. And also, it's a fifth of the price of a natural hairbrush, so we're saving the dollars, which is huge. You really don't need to throw down a chunk of change on good art supplies. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of people who beg to differ with me on that and my thing is just try it every artist is different so let me know in the comments below if you've tried these brushes out before and if you love them obviously i'd love to know of my fellow heritage lovers and friends out there um, but if you've seen my other supply video on the princeton aqua elite brushes which if you haven't yet we'll link it below um, those brushes are similar um, they are 
the Aqua Elite brushes brush series is made to hold and retain water and pigment a little bit more than this Heritage series. Um, but I do find that these brushes do, for the size and style of painting that I do, um, they do great. If I were painting more larger scale or landscapes where I have to do a lot of wide, big coverage, then I would probably go for the Aqua Elite. But for floral and landscapes that I do, I don't really need the extra hold and coverage that the Aqua Elite has. Um, I think these Heritage brushes do great. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna show you one of the main features or main reasons why I love the Heritage series and it's for its flexibility and the snappiness. Um, so I'm gonna load up with some green and I'm gonna paint a few leaves for you. All right, so this is my round size 16 brush. It's wet, really wet. And as you'll notice, it's while it's wet, it still retains its form. So that's really key with the style of painting I like to do. I don't want to work with a mop brush that when it gets wet, it just kind of flops over like a sad wet mop. So it's already standing against the water and is holding its form. Along with that, I can apply a lot of pressure on the brush and it can give me a really wide stroke. And then when I start to release that pressure, it doesn't just splay the hairs everywhere. It starts to go back to its nice thin tip really clean and smooth. So I can paint my leaves and all my floral pieces with ease. And then we'll do the same thing with my size six brush. Applying pressure so it gets really fat and then it goes to back to its thin tip really easily and super, super clean. And as you can see, still retains its form. We don't have any stray hairs kind of spraying all over the place. These brushes are no joke, phenomenal. And here's the size two. So all the same shape of brush, just different sizes, size 16, size six, and then in now the size two round. So much thinner, obviously, but you can still get a lot of width out of this thin brush, thinner brush. And same thing, you can go to a lot of pressure to releasing that pressure really, really easily, and it makes for clean edges and still retains its form when it's wet. All right, so you can do a lot more with these brushes than just paint leaves. Um, I do paint leaves quite often, so if you're like, I'm struggling with leaves, how does she paint her leaves like that? We have some videos for you. We'll link them below. Um, but these brushes, I'm telling you, I use them for anything that I paint, landscapes, floral. I just painted um, my office with my desk and cat and some other stuff today, and it's on my Instagram if you wanna check it out. Um, and I used these brushes and they did phenomenally. That's such a long word. <laughs> phenomenally. <laughs> um, spelling B. No, don't ask me to spell it. Um, spell anyway. It. Not, spelling is not my strength. There's right. probably two L's. Or four. Or five. Oh. <laughs> Anywho, love these Heritage 4050 brushes by Princeton. Linked below in the description if you want to check them out. As I said, my go-to sizes are the size 16 round, size 6 round, and size 2 round. That's all a girl needs, really. And that won't break the bank. It's only three brushes. And if you want to start somewhere, my absolute favorite, favorite brush out of those three is the size 6. It's very versatile. Um, yeah. And for painting on a 9 by 12 inch block, it's a perfect size, especially for floral. So make sure to check those brushes out. Leave a comment below if you've used the Heritage 4050 brushes before and you love them. I want to get to know my other Heritage friends out there and let me know below what other types of brushes you like to paint with and maybe I'll check them out. See you in the next supply video.